Okay, so what are we talking to about today? Massage and strapping. I get a lot of patients that have been investigating their breast augmentation online and say, oh, everyone else does massage, you know, I have to be strapped up to get the right result. Um, I don't think that's really right. It depends on which implant you're using. Okay, now, the problem with a smooth and a textured implant is that they can move. Okay? You made the pocket, and then you're hoping that the pocket over one, two, three months will shrink down to make the implant stick in the right position. Now, how do you make sure that the implant is in the right position? Well, you have to make sure it's down the bottom. So that's why you need strapping on top. And also the massage, because usually with the physically, the implants do tend to go up the chest. It's sort of a natural thing when the muscle's moving, when the body's moving. And then you end up with implants that's sitting up here and boobs that hanging down there. So you don't want that. So that's why you need to have strapping with the smooth and the textured and also massaging them down into the pocket. And you need to keep doing this massage until, you know, two or three months because you want the pocket around it to shrink down to hold the implant. Now, what's different about the polyurethane? Well, the polyurethane basically sticks to where you put it. It's got a firm, which I've shown in lots of my other videos, um, and the tissue actually grows into it. And the tissue grows into it fairly quickly. So you probably within two weeks will find that they're fairly stable in the position. Now, even the first two weeks, because they're fairly rough, they tend not to move. So you've got an implant that's gonna stay in one position. You don't need massage. Once the tissue is grown into the implant, it's not gonna move everywhere, it's not gonna be a problem for you. Um, so you don't need massage, you don't need strapping, you just need a support bra. Now the support bra is not there really to um, help you with the positioning of the implant. It's there to help a bit of swelling afterwards. You don't get a lot of swelling, but you do get some. Now that is the key difference. The other key difference is at four weeks, I can be fairly certain that the implants have been incorporated into the body. They're not gonna shift out to the side, fall down, go up. So I can get you back into exercising, full exercise, anything you wanna do. I've had a lot of personal trainers, a lot of gym junkies come. I've even had a bodybuilder that has won a national championship uh, in bodybuilding. And they do have a lot of issues with uh, breast, women bodybuilders have a lot of issues with the fact that they get very flat when they're exercising. So the implants help them get the shape and she actually won the national championship after I did the breast augmentation for her. But the point is that she could get back to really heavy physical exercise, lifting really heavy weights within like four, four to six weeks because of the polyurethane. If she had had a smooth or a textured implant, there's no way she could do that. And she would even, I would almost guarantee that she would have issues with movement um, later on if she started doing really heavy weights. So that is the key difference. So when you come and see me, you don't really need to worry about having strapping massage or any of that stuff that you've read on the internet. Just come in, have a chat, and we'll go through everything with you. I'm here to help. Thank you.